Good morning, Josh. Yes, uh, our health uh, officer, Dr. Bob Lutz from the Spokane County, County Health District, is looking at our data. And I have to remind um, your viewers that it is a process, right? So we've only done this once, but let me walk you through the process of getting to stage three. Um, that would be a letter of support from our health officer, Dr. Lutz. That letter then would need to be approved by our health district board. The county commissioners also have to offer up a letter of support. And then our hospitals, our major hospitals have to indicate in letter form that we have capacity and surge capacity. So all four of those things are part of the process. And um, I'm, I've reached out to our county commissioners to see where they are. They are ready to offer that letter of support, is my understanding, to get to stage three. I don't know if Dr. Lutz has. I know in past uh, interviews he's indicated he's not comfortable with our data right now. But let's talk about the data. So our, incre our number of ca uh, positive cases have increased, but we're going after those positive cases through contact tracing. So we know our percentages are going to, be going to be higher. But if you look at the other metrics that the governor has laid out, that the health uh, Department of Health has laid out, we're meeting those. Our health system, healthcare system is not being overburdened. We have, I believe, 12 people in the hospital right now. We, are, we have surge capacity, and our death rate has not continued to increase in a dramatic fashion. In fact, of the 37 deaths that we have in Spokane County, 21 of those have been in long-term care facilities. So if anything, we need to make sure that we have stronger protection measures in place for congregate and long-term care facilities because those are the people in our community who are at the most risk. Mayor Woodward, I just want to ask you, what, what is your response to Dr. Lutz's concerns? Do you think the county is ready to move into phase three? I, I do. I, you know, I, I listen to people in our community. I listen to people who want to get back to work, the business owners who want to be able to open up their businesses, some of them for the first time after three months, and many others in more capacity. I think we are. I think we're at a place where we have people who have tested positive, who are not sick. In fact, they didn't even know they had the virus. They've been asymptomatic. Our hospitalizations haven't increased, so we don't have more sick people in the hospital. At some point, we have to learn to live with COVID in our community until we have a vaccine. In the meantime, I implore people, as I have been for several, several weeks and months now, is to physically distance when you're out in public, Wear your mask whenever possible when you can't be within six feet of somebody. But we need to get to a place where we open up our economy more. Our businesses are not surviving this, and people need to get back to work. Putting food on your table is a health issue for our community. We're right next door to a state that is now fully open and surrounded by counties that are now going into stage three. Spokane County needs to as well. Mayor Woodward, we have about a minute here. I want to ask you, you've mentioned before when you joined us here on Up With Krim that Spokane County is keeping a lot of options open, including the possibility of moving back into phase one if necessary. Is there a plan in place if confirmed cases continue climbing? Well, that plan would be um, to come down from the state and also from our health district. So I'm sure that the health district is looking at the possibility if we would ever have to do that. I don't anticipate that we would ever have to go back to, to phase one. Um, I think there are some modifications possibly that we could do so that we wouldn't have to shut down businesses again. Because quite frankly, I'll be just honest with you, if we have to shut down businesses again, they won't survive. Of course, our conversation with Mayor Woodward will continue over on the CW22 starting at 7 o'clock this morning. We also want to encourage you to keep voting in our online poll. We will address the poll with Mayor Woodward coming up at 7 o'clock when we continue here on Up With Krim. Thank you for joining us this morning, Mayor Woodward. We'll check back with you in just a few minutes. But for now, we're going to continue moving on with a quick break here on Up With Krim.